Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Green Lamb, and obviously you know from the title of this, I have a review on Unbelievable by Sarah Shepard, the fourth book in the Pretty Little Liars series, and this is a reread for me. Um, I'm slowly making my way through the book so I can review them for you guys. So if you're new to my videos or you just need a refresher, I rate my books in five different categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of reading again very soon, five to five, not so soon, one out of five. This video is a special review because I'll be having a discussion at the end of this video. Um, the discussion will entail spoilers from pre Liars, Flawless, Perfect, and the book I just read, Unbelievable. But I'll tell you when the spoilers are coming up. For right now, the review part is spoiler free so you don't have to worry. And I will warn you before I start talking about spoilers. So anyway, I'll just read you the little paragraph in the back that really s sums up what happened since last book since I'm pretty scatterbrained at explaining it. So basically, it says, Emily's been shipped off to Iowa to live with her uber-conservative cousins. Arya's boyfriend is behind bars because of her. Spencer's afraid she was involved in Allie's murder. But Hannah's fate is far worse. She's clinging to life in the hospital because she knew too much. If these girls don't start listening to me, Hannah's going to look like the lucky one. A. So basically, it's right after Hannah's, uh, Hannah's been hit by the car. Um... Also, the review will have spoilers from pre Liars, Flawless and Perfect, but not this book. I forgot to say that. Um, plot, I give a 5 out of 5. Of course, I absolutely love these books. I'm a little biased because this is one of my favorite series. But I really like this book. This is one of my favorite ones. The third and fourth really um, have a special place because I remember reading them in such a panic. If you watch my Perfect review, you know kind of the sleepover story I told you guys about um, when I was at my friend's house. Um, and, oh my gosh, I just love this. And this is the one where you find out who A is in this arc, so mysterious. Um, characters, um, five to five. Obviously, I love all the characters in these books. These books, they make me feel raw emotion. Um, especially this book, I actually liked all girls, all the girls' storylines. None of them were really boring to me, which I really enjoy, because sometimes I find some books, the storyline of the characters gets a little boring. Some characters, like so one of the main girls, but in this one, all their storylines intrigued me. Cover, 5 to 5, of course. I If you've listened to my reviews on the first few books, the first four covers are so iconic to me um, just because there used to only be this many in the series. But I just love the first four covers. They hold a really special place in my heart, obviously, because that's what attracted me to the series. Because originally, um, I was going to the bookstore to pick up, um, I think, another book in the private series by Kate Bryan. But I saw the second pre Liars book, and that's kind of started me on it. Um, suspense 5 to 5. The suspense in this book's crazy just because you find out who A is and it's very suspenseful and you want to know who A is in the first arc. Overall, 5 to 5. If I can read this over and over again, obviously, uh, I'm going to probably read it soon and obviously that makes it a good book in my eyes. So anyway, I definitely recommend checking out the Pretty Liars series. It's really good. I know a lot of people are intimidated at the length of the series because it is quite lengthy, but it's really good for the length, I find. Um, anyway, that was my review, so if you have not read pre Liars, Flawless, Perfect, or Unbelievable, um, I'm going to say bye to you guys and thanks for watching, and we're moving on to the part where spoilers are coming in of all the books, including this one. So, I wrote down some notes on my agenda just so, like, I don't forget what I want to talk about. So, we found out who A is, Mona, and... At first, I was shocked when I first read it. Like, obviously, I'm not shocked this time because I knew. But when I first read the series, I was shocked. I was, like, flabbergasted. I was, like, oh, my gosh. Like, how? What? I never suspected her. But, yeah, I wish we would have got to know kind of more about Mona's motive. Like, we heard a little bit about it, but I wonder um, when she started. Like, Hannah's questions herself, like, when Mona started plotting her revenge. Stuff like that. I'm really interested in finding out, like, that kind of thing. So I kind of wish, like, because in the series TV show... Um, this will be a spoiler for the TV show, but Mona, they find out she is A. And, yeah, like, and then she can explain herself, but in the book she can't explain herself, so it's kind of like, sometimes I like certain versions better. Um, yeah, and did Mona drug Spencer? So when Mona bring out the champagne at, um, Hannah's party, Spencer explains some things. I didn't notice the first few times I read this book, I did not notice this. But Spencer says her vision was kind of fuzzy, so I was wondering if Mona actually drugged Spencer. Not in a, like, with a harsh drug, but a drug that would s maybe slow her down, because she seemed not really Spencer-like, just, like, she just, it kind of seemed like her attitude changed, but she went on, her vision was said was fuzz, her vision was said it was, 
her vision she said was fuzzy but then at the same time later on you don't even hear anything about that so it's kind of confusing if anybody knows what really happened in that section definitely comment below and let me know because i'm a little confused um the golden orchard and spencer telling the truth i personally like i like spencer like i like honest characters like obviously honesty is the best policy i'm not telling you guys to lie or anything but she was like that close it's like why would you lie at that point wouldn't you just tell the truth at the beginning like but I guess, like, it's good that she sees that she made a mistake in telling the truth. So I did like that part, but at the same time, it's like she could have stopped the whole thing a long time ago. Um, 